Hello everybody and welcome to an Elder Scrolls Online video with me, Sherman. Today we're going to be talking about ways of making gold. Now there's a lot of different ways you can make gold. You can do the Thieves Guild stuff, which is basically stealing from people and then turning that stuff into the Thieves Guild. It's a, it's a pretty easy way to make gold, but at the same time, if you're a new player and you don't have a lot of skill points to put towards like sneak and stuff like that, it does cause it a, a little bit of problems to, to make some gold at that, that way. Uh, another way that you can do it is called a chess farm. A chess farm, uh, you do have to have champion points in order to make it work really well. And champion points are something that you earn after level 50. But you need a certain thing. You need fortune seeker to make a ch chess farm work. And also if you have it, 75 points and you can get treasure hunter. So that way you can, you can get greater quality items from treasure chests. It's a, it's a lot better way to do chess farms with that. And then there is another way, which is just farming it outright. Now, this video is going to teach you how to make gold really fast in, in, um, instead of using other forms of, of making gold, like the, the, the guild traders, which is a fourth form of making gold, which is where you, you go and farm items and sell them on the trading post, which can garner you gold, but it doesn't garner you gold fast. It garners you gold over time. So it's a good way to, to make money, but it isn't a fast way to make money. Now, if you're looking for a really, really, really fast way to make money, one of the fastest ways to make money is farming, delves, and public dungeons. And basically what you do is you just go in, run through them, clearing out all the trash that you come across, kill everything along the way, loot everything, and sell everything. You don't keep anything. You don't do anything like that. You sell everything. And usually, depending on your level... And the quality of gear and the type of gear you get from it, depending on if it's something that's white that sells to a merchant for more and, and stuff like that and how many stacks of things you can get, you can usually garner between three to 20,000 gold in a full bag run. Now, I would say time frames like an hour, two hours, that kind of thing, but it's more or less based on how fast you can fill your bags, get back to town and sell everything. So right now I'm sitting at 51 slots in my bag. I'm going to go into this public dungeon here. I'm also farming items from this public dungeon, so... But, we'll go in here, we'll take what we can get, we'll fill the bags, and then sell it. But I'm not going to do that um, all in one video, because it would take too long. But what we'll just do is I'll just show you guys a basic idea. Now, you can use delves as well if you don't have the ability to run a public dungeon by yourself. If your build's not strong enough, you can run a delve. And most delves have a circular pattern to them, so you just go in one egg, one you know you go in you go around it in a circle and you just keep going in a circle till you fill your bags go back to town sell everything don't save anything don't break anything down sell it all on average i can pull anywhere between five to twenty thousand gold depending on how much space i have in my bags now i'm not on the character i usually run for this uh this is my main tank and i usually run my dps character through it because it's a lot faster and I can keep a, a good, smooth, steady like pace at farming. And I don't leave anything behind. I, I loot it all, like I said. And it doesn't matter if it sells for zero gold or whatever. I loot everything, and I just constantly fill my bags. Once it says your inventory is full, I go back to town. I sell everything off. Now, there is a lot of good public dungeons out there that you can farm for, for set items, too. So if you're looking for a specific set... Take your time, go farm that set in that, that public dungeon while you're farming that set. Loot everything, um, and just set the items that you don't want to sell to what the, is called locked. And it's really easy. You just right-click on it and say lock, and then it'll lock it. It'll put it up in the, at the very top of your inventory so it doesn't get sold when you go back to the merchant. And then anything that you want to sell that you have, a, like, a stack of, like, say, these, you can set as mark as junk, and it'll automatically sell it when, it when you get to that point where you go to the merchant. It'll sell it <coughs> to them because it knows that you have that set to mark as junk. But I don't do that a lot of times. Like I said, I actually just, uh, I, I like to keep my stuff so uh, like visible so I can see what I'm selling when I go to the merchant. And uh, yeah, it just makes it a lot easier. So I'm going to show you guys my rotation in this particular public dungeon so you guys can see what it's like. And um, basically go and get a feel for it get a layout of how you want to run it and then just keep running it. and you can use the same public dungeon you can use different public dungeons it's really up to you on how you want to run the public dungeon but um, 
Yeah, it's it, it's really fast. And same with delves. Delves are usually in a circular pattern. So you just go through in a circular pattern and just clear it. And make sure you always hit the boss too. And if you're playing in a public dungeon, make sure you clear all the bosses. You can bypass the group boss most of the time because it takes a lot more to kill them. So you can go with other stuff in there. So, But basically, this is the public dungeon I'm going to be using. This is the one outside of Daggerfall, by the way. And there's a boss here. And I'm going to hit this boss first. I'm going to go down, go through here, fight this boss, go through, fight this boss. Here's another boss right here. Go down, fight this uh fight this boss and then go around in a circle and I'm just gonna continuously go in a circle till I kill everything in here and then we'll see how much stuff we picked up and just get an, a general idea so I do want to look and see how much gold I have I have 1170 so and you can like I said you can average between three and 20,000 gold, depending on your level, depending on the quality of gear you get, and depending on what drops you get. So you can make a decent amount of money. Now you can take the set items and put them on the guild broker if you want to, you know, on a guild trader or whatever, and sell them and try and get some more money. That's another thing you can do. You can also get prosperous gear and make a set of prosperous gear strictly for doing this. And that's a full set. You want to get a full five-piece set or seven-piece set of Prosperous gear. Run this stuff with that Prosperous gear, and you'll make more gold. Because especially if there's a lot of humanoids in there, they have a tendency to drop more gold. So you can get more gold that way. And if you're wearing five, uh, seven pieces of it, you're going to have over a, probably a 70-80% more gold in increase. Plus, if there's chests, you get that 50% gold from the chests if you loot any of the chests in the, in the public dungeon as well. So I'm just going through, I'm looking for all the boss encounters. It looks like there might be somebody else in here farming this as well, or they're doing the quests. And that's why I don't like farming ones that are close to starter areas, because there's usually a lot more players playing through those than there is ones that are in, like, out-of-the-way places. A lot of people like to farm the ones in, in um, like, uh, Orsinium, because there's a lot of, uh, it's, a, it's another way that they go there, and a lot of people will level on these as well so those ones are pretty well occupied most of the time but if you do find certain ones and, and you're not worried about like the sets that you get from them uh, you can farm any of the public dungeons and like I said I try to find one that's out of the way that I know people aren't going to be farming so I usually go and look at the sets that are selling for the most and ones that aren't selling for the most and I just go farm the ones that aren't selling for the most and I just run those and I'll put the items from the sets sometimes on the traders but most of the time I just sell everything so there's a lot of different ways that you can make money uh, doing this. And you can do it really fast. Now my DPS guy would be already at, probably already back at the beginning with this particular public dungeon because he kills things a lot faster than my tank does. But it is a uh, thing that you can do. And just make sure that your build does a decent amount of damage, has a decent amount of, you know, as long as you have the decent damage and some survivability, you can run these things forever, literally. And you can, like I said, the more you farm the, and the more buying space you have, the more money you can make when you go and turn it all in. And sell everything. You ha if, if you don't sell everything, it's okay. But if you can sell everything, sell everything. And you should pull, depending on bank space too, you know, it, it, that plays a, a factor into it and, and stuff, but it, it, it average, you know, because of RNG as well, because you are mainly looking for white items like this that sell to a merchant for 280% more. That's the main, your main money maker is that, and these potions, and then soul gems are going to be the things. Now, if you already have a stack of soul gems, don't worry, because the extra soul gems you will sell once you get another stack of 200, because they sell for 6,000. Potions, a stack of, of potions like this will sell for 600. Um, full stack of this is like, you know, uh, 300 gold or, or 200 gold. And so getting stacks of stuff, okay, <coughs> that's 500 gold for 100. Um, and, and that's how you get them. So 500 gold, for a stack of those potions, you know, and then certain items will sell, de depending on their quality, can sell for more or less. Mostly weapons sell for a decent amount, usually about 70, 80 gold kind of thing. And you just stay, like I said, you stay on that rotation of running through, killing stuff, farming, looting, and then filling your bags. Once your bags are full, you leave. And 
sometimes I can make a, a decent amount of money. Sometimes I can make a poor amount of money. It just depends on RNG. And RNG Jesus doesn't, you know, he doesn't benefit everybody. <laughs> or she. Or the, you know, the, the, the mighty Zoss people. They don't. They don't give us everything we want all the time. But there, you have your good days and you have your bad days. But if you're looking to make fast, fast gold, this is the literally the fastest way to make gold in the game. And if you don't mind doing the farm, it's a good, quick way to do it. The other way, um, way that I mentioned the chest farms on the starter islands is another good way if you're looking to make a decent amount of gold over um, a little bit longer period of time because you do have to memorize the location of all the treasure chests on the island and these aren't ones that you dig up these are actual the treasure chests that you go and uh, do that with or in a, in a certain location I find the chest farm on uh, Canarthi's Roost to be the fastest because you can do that one in a really quick amount of time versus a lot of the other um, public dungeons and stuff and a lot of times you're going to find a lot of public dungeons especially like meta uh set dungeons are going to be really crowded with people so it's a little bit harder to get in and and do those kind of farms for those dungeons especially if you're trying to get you know if you go into the public dungeon where spinners drops or spriggins drops or plague doctors one of those uh one of those it's a little bit harder to get a, a you know get in and farm it so that's why i try to hit the out of the way ones um like the one in reapers uh reapers march that's a really good one if you're looking for an out of the way one uh any of them in Mo like the one in mullable tour is a good out of the way one is it mullable tour <laughs> i gotta go look because there's two of them so the one in mullable tour sorry isn't a good one to go to because it's usually crowded because a lot of people farm that one because there's more humanoids now, the one here in Greenshade is a good one as well to go farm. Um, the one in Shadowfin is a good one to farm. There's a lot of Daedra in there. So if you want to do like an ult, if you have like an ultimate build where your build is, it can build ultimate really fast. That's a really good one to farm because there's a lot of Daedra in it. And the faster you can kill the Daedra, especially if Fighters Guild maxed out, you can farm it. And you can farm it fast because you fill up ultimate really fast. So you can kill enemies like groups of enemies really quick that way. So it, it does require a build that uses uh, ultimate generation, but if you have a build that builds ultimate really fast, you can go in there and clear that place in like no time. Uh, my my normal character I use for this is an ultimate build, so they have some ultimate generation to them, and they usually speed clear that stuff. Now, what I meant by uh, if the, the dungeon public dungeon has a group encounter, those things can be a little bit harder because it's like fighting a uh, miniature boss. Like world, like a like a mini world boss, and they have sometimes have a lot of health, so it can be a problem. And this is the one in here, and it looks like they just cleared it. But uh, it's usually I think they have about like three hundred thousand health or something like that. So they're not too bad. I mean, you can clear them pretty quick, and then and then continue on your way. Right now, though, I'm in here <coughs> trying to get another set of werewolf hide or hide of the werewolf for a uh, new tank build that I'm working on and also for a uh, I'm getting a set for my uh, ultimate builder because I found out that it works really well for him uh, to have that set right now my that character is running Akavari Dragon Guard with a uh, with another set that allows him to do some DPS but it's it's not it doesn't work as well as the hind of the werewolf would because they do get hit a lot while they're in here and they you know I'm using dual wield and stuff like that so I want that ultimate generation to be as quick as possible and I don't have heroic strike with that character so uh, or anything like that that gives me ultimate whenever I you know attack so but yeah it's a, it's a, it's an easy fast like I said amount of money depending on the public dungeon you can it is a guaranteed, you know, amount. And if you if you get around in a rotation where the bosses aren't dropping items, you're still going to get gold. And then all you have to do is give it about five or ten minutes, and you can, uh, you know, take five minutes and go get a drink or something. And usually by that time the the stuff's reset, so you can actually go through and get it get the items um, from the enemies. It, and depending on the build, the faster you run and clear the dungeon the faster the bosses um, won't have items. So, like, the, the more, the quicker you can run the dungeon, 
the less likely the bosses won't have their set items to, to drop and they just give you gold so try to to remember that when you're running through a dungeon a public dungeon and you're trying to farm it <coughs> and Andy, i i prefer to go to public dungeons where they're less packed and there's less people in it because that way i can i can guarantee i can go in there run the whole dungeon get what i'm looking for and get uh, the stuff and it, i can i can pull a, a decent amount normally today not so much because uh this this dungeon's a little crowded right now and it, you do have like i said you have your good days and you have your bad days but it depends on what you're looking for but i am looking for hide of the werewolf so i'm in here farming it um trying to get that done so and like i said if you have a build that has a good amount of survivability and stuff you can do a lot more <coughs> and you can do it a lot quicker uh depending on the amount of dps you have so But yeah, that's. I mean, it's not. It's not something that's that's complicated or anything. It's not really challenging. It's it's a fun, quick way, like I said, to make some money, and it can be fun if you are into that kind of thing. So that's the. But it is literally, if you want to make gold the fastest, this is the fastest way to make gold. If you're looking for fast gold, if you're looking for gold over time, you can use the the guild traders, like I said. If you're not interested in doing this, there's the Thieves Guild, and then there's the chest farms, and then also you can do what's called a treasure map farm, where you go and farm treasure map items by going and go gathering up treasure maps and selling them. Now, that, that one, or, yeah, doing the treasure maps, where you go and farm the treasure maps and then sell the stuff you get from that, you don't make quite as much, and it, t it requires a lot of porting around, where a public dungeon, it's all there, it, everything's right in front of you, you just go through and kill it, loot it, and sell it. And like I said, on average, you will make anywhere between 3,000. Well, depend, like I said, it depends on how much bag space you have, how much inventory space you have, and how much you can carry. You can make anywhere between 3,000 a bag run all the way up to, you know, 20, 30,000 a bag run. It just depends on RNG and stuff like that. But yeah, I need to get back to doing this, guys, because I'm trying to work on this build so I can get it out and let people see it. So, uh, unfortunately, that's it for now. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button. It would be greatly appreciated. If you guys want to see more videos by me, you can subscribe to me and see one of my post-video videos. But other than that, have a great day, and I will see you all later. Bye.